So they were told one day, this island is no longer yours. So by 1973, they took the last ship away from the island. One in 40 died of starvation. A lot of them turned to prostitution. A lot of them died from disease as well. It was a very, very chaotic situation, a very bad situation, and because there was no provision at all made, and the fiction uh, created was that uh, we were migrant workers in Diego Garcia, and we were sent back to the country where we belong, which is Mauritius. The document that the British government sort of like discussed was, yeah, yeah its title was maintaining the fiction, that this these people were transient workers rather than people that live there for generations and generations. I think eight generations lived on that island. It doesn't seem like they have any legal rights. When British Overseas uh, Territory citizens, which Chagos Island, Islanders are, uh, had the right for UK passports, um, a lot of them wanted to come to this country. Uh, and Gatwick Airport uh, is the place uh, where the flights from Mauritius arrived in London. Uh, and so uh, the first uh, numbers of Chagos Islanders just over 10 years ago started arriving at Gatwick. They did actually win the right um, to return to the island, but um, this is where another royal prerogative comes in under <laughs> Tony Blair. They just upturned this whole thing. What do you mean by royal prerogative? Well, a royal prerogative power is basically a power that was long held by the royal family back in the time we were in absolute monarchy. In theory, it should be exercised with, with the oversight Checks of Parliament and, and the permission of Parliament. But it allows the government at the time to do things that the royal family, or that the, the reigning monarch was only allowed to do, things like declaring war. And in this case, which is, what we, which is the, the why it's so poignant, overturning certain uh, legal precedents and court cases. Because it was so strategically important to the US, the government at the time, that being the government of Tony Blair, overturned this court case basically and said this court case is invalid. Um, the Chagosians are never going to return to this island. Now, like, there's lots of trees. So it's inside a forest? Yeah. My dad was born there, my grandpa was born there, and this is like homeland, and I've never been there. I think I was 10 or 11. I wrote a letter to the Queen. Could you please see um, if you could try and get my dad and all the Chagosian people back to Chagos? Well, I think it was her assistant. She wrote to me and she said, Dear Nelson, the Queen has asked me to thank you for your letter of 20th of March about your request of the Chagos Island to be returned to their inhabitants. Her Majesty, has taken careful note of your comments. I should tell you, however, that is not a matter in which the Queen would personally intervene. The Mauritian people doesn't care. The Seychelles people doesn't care. The British people doesn't care. The American people doesn't care because they don't know the real story. To find them talking about terrorists and the American and the British are killing human beings like that. It's not human. It's sad to take somebody's home birth to turn it into that kind of place. Now home to three to five thousand military and civilian personnel and has a number of military weapons including two dozen cargo ships, long-range bombers, tanks, intelligent and communication equipment, NASA facilities. This is what the this uh, islands eventually developed into a huge military industrial base. Uh, the base has been used extensively in the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan, but a base uh, thousands and thousands of miles from the United States really plays no role in defending the United States. It's mostly been used to launch aggressive wars that have been proven to be unnecessary and led to yet more tragedies. I don't think there are nuclear weapons on Diego Garcia, but uh, it is certainly a very seen as a very important air base. They do have nuclear weapons, but they don't have any nuclear weapons on the island itself. But uh, they do have nuclear weapons patrolling the areas or submarines there, yeah, but not on the island itself. Okay. And that is fact? That, that is fact. Okay. There's plenty more that we don't know about because no one can go there unless they're in the US or British military. Uh, journalists haven't been able to go, human rights investigators haven't been able to go. 
there are lots of uh, human rights activists and law and human rights lawyers who allege it's it's likely or possible that Diego Garcia is being used as something called a black site, like a, a black hole in all forms of law, where you can literally, they, they, they think there's something called a ghost prison camp there. It, where, something like Guantanamo Bay, basically. The US military have taken suspected terrorists uh, from in the field in places like Afghanistan and removed them um, so that they can be interrogated about their activities. And it turns out that Diego Garcia was used as uh, one of the transit points for transition flights. And the British government at the time, um, under the Blair administration, say that they weren't told about these rendition flights by the US. Uh, the truth of that, or, you know, I'll leave for other people to judge. On my meeting with the uh, former Foreign Secretary, David Miliband, I personally had to convince him uh, to establish the marine protected area. This is a right decision, right? If people uh, behind our back have done it for other reasons, we don't care, but what we care is that the marine protected area is there, right, preserving our future. I think there is a, a strong suspicion that the environmental protection zone was maybe less about the environment and more about preventing Chagos Islanders uh, from returning. So basically they had um, a WikiLeaks cable. Yeah, and this stressed that they wanted to pit against the ecologists, against the human rights activists yeah. who were supporting the Chagosians in their struggle, but they made a deliberate attempt to, to, to file them against the environmentalists. And the, yeah, the contradiction in terms of having an industrial military base surrounded by a nature reserve yeah. where presumably military war warships have to go in and out planes yeah. long range bombers do you think people want to know the full extent of what's going on or do you think that's quite a scary prospect i just think it's weird that, that you can have 2000 people that are horrendously displaced by our, by our government and uh, no one no one, and people don't know it to the same extent that they know about say abu Ghraib or guantanamo bay i can understand the skepticism of many chagos islanders uh, they have had their hopes raised and then had them disappointed um, uh, by successive governments, uh, both in London and in Washington. It's the sort of thing that you might read in the history books that took place 150 or 200 years ago. Um, you know, this took place uh, during my lifetime. All of the problems with our society and our government and all that, you can, you can, look, you can take it like a petri dish, you can look at Diego Garcia and yeah. see all the things, that the lack of democracy, the lack of human rights, lack of consideration for other cultures, minorities. Yeah, the whole Western imperialist outlook, neo-imperialism, the, the the supremacy, the it's Western all there. supremacism. It's, all there. it's ev everything you can see in that in this particular case. If people can uh, campaign for us, so the British government will and the American will let us go back. I want to go home. I hope this is a, a struggle that, that young people can get involved in because it, it is a struggle where um, a group of concerted and dedicated allies can really make a huge difference and it's going to be young people who push um, the two governments to, to do justice to, for the Chagosians and uh, I hope as many people can get involved as possible. We were at the wrong place, at the wrong place because uh, they chose Diego Garcia to do this strategic base. The fact is, it's our homeland, and if there is a, the, the goodwill of the UK government to resettle us in the near future, so that will make uh, an injustice right to us. Thank you very much for watching. We've been Newspeaks. If you have enjoyed this, please share. And if you want to know more information, go to www.newspeaks.com. Thank you very much. Yeah, any sort of anti-establishment, anti-government movements, Occupy, Anonymous, even the student protests that happened recently, like, all of that could be red flagged. So, that's, a th that's the threat, mm -hmm. ultimately. Most computers, they can turn your camera on without you knowing it.